Okay, so today we're going to be starting a new Christmas novel, Deck the Halls, Wear Off the Walls by Dan Gutman. My name is AJ, and I hate it when a song gets stuck in my head. Does that ever happen to you? You hear a song a couple of times and learn the words without even trying? Then you find yourself singing it all the time. You sing it while you're walking to school. You sing it while you're taking a bath. You can't stop singing it no matter what you are. I hate when that happens. Ever since Thanksgiving, they've been playing this rap song on the radio over and over again. I can't get it out of my head. The song is by this kid who isn't much older than me. His name is Johnny Cray, but his rap name is Cray Z. My sister loves him. Every girl in the world loves him. The song is called The Christmas Klepto. It's about a main guy who steals toys. It starts like this. Twas the night before Christmas. You know the rest. Stuff was all over. The house was all messed. I was dreaming of a Christmas white. It was a totally silent night. That's when I heard a crash and a boom, so I ran right down to the living room. There was this guy dressed all in black, and over his shoulder he carried a sack. I took one look at him and said, Whoa, man, I know you're not Frosty the Snowman. Who are you? I asked after a pause. You sure don't look like Santa Claus. He said, The name's Klepto. I'm from the South Pole. I grab all your presents. That's how I roll. On Christmas Eve, I go around the world and steal all the presents from boys and girls. Ugh, that song is the worst part about Christmas, and now it's stuck in my head forever. Do you know what the best part about Christmas is? No school for nine whole days. That's right. No homework, no reading, writing, math, or social studies. No teachers. Yippee! Nine days. Do you know how long nine days is? I figured it out on my calculator. Nine days is the same as 216 hours. 216 hours is the same as 12,960 minutes. 12,960 minutes is the same as 777,600 seconds. That's a long time. For 777,600 seconds, I won't have to see Andrea Young. This annoying girl in my class with curly brown hair. I'm going to enjoy every one of those seconds. This is going to be the greatest Christmas vacation of my life. Chapter 2. The first rule of being a kid. I was eating breakfast when the greatest Christmas vacation of my life got even greater. My mom was sitting at the table reading her newspaper when I saw this on the back page. Santa Claus is coming to town. I leaned forward so I could read the small letters. They said that Santa was going to be at our local shopping mall on Saturday, just before Christmas. All of my dreams had come true. If you ask me, Santa Claus is the greatest man in the history of the world. Anybody who gives toys to kids should get the Nobel Prize. But I figure Santa will never get the Nobel Prize because that's a prize they give out to people who don't have bells. And if there's one thing Santa has, it's plenty. It's plenty of bells. Can you take me to the mall on Saturday? I asked my mom. Please, please, please. Dad and I need to clean out the garage on Saturday, replied mom. You can clean out the garage anytime, mom, I told her. Santa's only going to be at the mall on Saturday. If I don't go, I'll never get to see him for the rest of my life. Sorry, AJ, not this Saturday. But I need to buy a present for Amy, I begged. My sister Amy is three years older than me. She's annoying. But I have to get her a present anyway. No, Mom said. No means no. Hmm. Begging usually works for me. I would have to try something else. If at first, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's what my parents always say. You can accomplish anything if you put your mind to it. It was time to put plan B into effect. I started crying. If you want something really badly and the situation is hopeless, there's only one thing to do. Cry. That's the first rule of being a kid. I peeked to see if my mom was watching me cry. AJ, she said, those are crocodile tears. 
What do crocodiles have to do with anything? Come on, Mom, I pleaded. I've been waiting to meet Santa Claus my whole life. Mom put down her newspaper and looked at me. She had a serious look on her face. Your father and I have been meaning to tell you something for a while now, AJ. She said, it's about Santa Claus. We think it's time that you knew that Santa, but she didn't get the chance to finish her sentence because the phone rang. I picked it up. It was my friend Ryan who will eat anything, even the stuff that isn't food. Santa's coming to the mall. Ryan shouted into the phone. I know. Do you think it's the real Santa? I mean, how could he visit every mall in the world? He's not visiting every mall in the world, Ryan told me. He's just visiting our mall. That's why we have to be there. Are you in? My mom said she would drive us to spread the word. I hung up and called my friends Michael, Neil, and Alexia to tell them the big news about Santa. I want to go, said Michael, who never ties his shoes. I want to go, said Neil, who we call the nude kid, even though he wears clothes. I want to go, said Alexia, who rides a skateboard all the time. In case you're wondering, everybody was saying they wanted to go. I looked at my mom with my best puppy dog eyes. If you ever want something really badly, look at your parents with puppy dog eyes. That's the first rule of being a kid. Please, I asked. Ryan's mom said she'd drive us to the mall. You don't even have to go. You'll buy a present for your sister while you're there? Mom asked. Of course. Okay, mom agreed. You can go. Yippee!